Hi, I'm Kylie Conway. In the overnight early morning hours, there was a huge fire on the south side. Some 40 cars went up in flames. This was at um, Auto Insurance Auto Auctions. It is on South Harding Street. Fire officials say that it's possible a lightning strike is what caused the fire. They're investigating the cause right now, but they said that there were several explosions of some of the fuel tanks exploding, um, just huge plumes of smoke going up into the air. IFD says it was all under control by around 3.30 this morning. Also, Dr. Anthony Fauci is saying that children five years old and older could receive the COVID-19 vaccine by the fall. He says that data being collected through studies could soon be uh, enough to submit for emergency use authorization. Hi, I'm Drew Blair. Classes are canceled at an Indianapolis elementary school today, reeling from the death of a student. Support will be available for students and staff at George Julian School 57. Two cars crashed outside the building yesterday afternoon, killing a seven-year-old student and critically injuring two adults. Police say one of the adults is a crossing guard. The scene was at Ritter and Washington on the city's east side. IPS Superintendent Alicia Johnson released a statement last night saying that the district family is devastated. Four star gymnasts from the U.S. are set to testify in front of the Senate Judiciary Committee today. Lawmakers are asking questions about the FBI's handling of the sex abuse case involving Larry Nasser, the former USA Gymnastics doctor. Simone Biles, Michaela Maroney, Maggie Nichols, and Allie Raisman will be on Capitol Hill. I'm Scott Sander. Gavin Newsom will stay on as governor of California after handily beating back all challengers in a recall election. His chief challenger, Larry Elder, does not appear to be challenging the results, though he is promising to push for more change in the future. He says he lost the battle, but not the war. We're seeing some promising pictures from Edmund Sumner, the injured Indiana Pacer. He posted a photo on his social media, shows him in his hospital bed after surgery to his torn Achilles tendon. He's got a bright smile and he says, it's a tough road ahead for me, but nothing is stopping me.